Good day, everybody. So I start off with an iced Americano, three pumps skinny mocha, zero points. And I boiled some water and had some cream of wheat. And I like to add some unsweetened almond milk in there and mix that up and then add some fruit. I'm super bummed. I brought this cheese to have with crackers today for my snack while I'm waiting for Jade. And I forgot them, but I did have some like pretzels left over in my bag. So I guess I'll just have a little bit of pretzels and cheese because I didn't have time for lunch. So yeah, I'm gonna have lunch after. What I ate for a snack today is this. Hope you yeah. guys don't mind that I don't have a tripod. So it might be a little shaky, but I'm hoping that I could be like this. But um, I'm gonna be using this flatbread by flat out and then I'm going to add tuna in it pretty simple I mean I'm not going to do the whole lettuce or any of that stuff like you know kind of like what you see here with this chicken one I'm going to full on do just tuna a tuna wrap and there's the points you guys and I usually if you've watched my channel before I usually like to mix avocado in my tuna but I don't have any right now because they're all bad at the stores. Sucks. But I'm going to have a little bit of light mayonnaise. I don't need that much mayonnaise. Like back in the day when I was a kid, I'd be like, pour a whole bunch of mayonnaise on it. Actually, they didn't have the squeezies, I don't think. I think I just plopped it in with spoonfuls. Like, but um, yeah, I'm just gonna put a tiny bit. Okay, so there's the tuna. And then I like to just add a lot of pepper a lot um and no salt just this and a tablespoon of the la la light mayo that was like a tablespoon was perfect and one tablespoon of the light mayo is one point and the tuna is zero and the wrap is two Okay, so here is my tuna wrap. Like I said, it's nothing too special. Sometimes I even put like celery for like that crunch and everything. Sorry, I took a bite of the tuna that was left over in the bowl and I had a lot of pepper, so <laughs> I'm struggling here. But um, yeah, it's just size of like a Del Taco burrito. Oh good, you guys, so good. You have to try this, oh, delicious. If you want to add cheese peppers anything else do it and you will not regret it but i just wanted plain old this i do wish so that i had avocado that's the only thing i wish i had it for this but it's good otherwise so i'm gonna chow down so now for my all-time favorite popcorn this is what i'm having for a snack it's a boom chicka pop and it's the sweet and salty and i like to keep my portion size i have a couple of those bags in my pantry so that's just easy to grab but yeah it's good so i felt a sore throat coming on so i decided for dinner i was just going to have some of this chicken noodle soup that we had in the pantry someone had to use it so i decided today would be the day and then i wanted a grilled cheese with it because soup and grilled cheese the best i actually like grilled cheese with tomato soup more but we didn't have any but anyways this bread has become my favorite i don't even mind the points because it is so good and when we make sandwiches grilled cheese and stuff it's just perfect so you just saw the air fryer and that's because i'm gonna place it in the air fryer but i did spray it with pam very lightly it's like my thing that i do now and it works so i just sprayed it very lightly like i said and then i added in a fat free cheese um i wish i would have added two of them and I should have but one was fine but I do love to have some pepperoncinis in my grilled cheese if I don't have pepperoncinis or green chilies then I'm not going to have a grilled cheese so I did take out the seeds and then I put it inside and then now it's going in the air fryer so I did it it says 15 minutes but I did it for I believe it was like six minutes each side I did flip it over and it came out perfect. 
So one cup of the soup is three points and my grilled cheese sandwich came out to six points. And then I added a little bit of oyster crackers. So yeah, that's my dinner and I have a question for you guys. How do you make your grilled cheese? Do you do it in an air fryer too or do you put it in the oven? I know some people do the oven and some people just put it on a pan on top of the oven on the stove. Um, how do you make yours and what do you put in yours? Is it just cheese or do you put peppers in yours or bacon? Just curious. Now for dessert, I had these skinny pop popcorn puffs with cinnamon. Oh, they are so good. I got mine at Target. They are delicious. And for a quarter cup, it's one point. So I started measuring these and put them in little baggies just like I did with my popcorn. So good. You guys have to try them. They would taste really good in yogurt too. I just thought of that right now. And that might be another dessert for tonight. Okay, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.